Barbie dolls. So I'm um, doing a kind of what's in my makeup box because obviously I'm going to university so I'm not going to be at home. So I've kind of got to bring what I, all the makeup that I usually use with me. Um, so last Christmas before my collection went like exploded um, I actually <laughs> got a makeup box for Christmas um, and it's just um, a black uh, kind of carry case um, that opens out and <laughs> it weighs a ton I'm sorry I'm really struggling to lift this um, so it's just a square box and it holds loads I mean it's literally so heavy I can't actually hold it um, so yeah I have to literally take all my makeup with me and that means kind of you guys get to see kind of what I'm actually taking with me so that I know that I've got everything um, so I haven't actually put it in neatly I've just thrown it in for just this video but I'm gonna go through it with you and tell you what I've got um, I'm gonna put this on the side though. <laughs> it's just too heavy So it opens up like this and it's got kind of two drawers, like two drawers on each side and then the massive bit on the bottom. <laughs> right, now I'm just going to grab things because it will just be easier. Um, I'm taking two MAC Pro Longwear concealers, just kind of two different shades. I've got two MAC Prolet Longwear Concealers. Uh, this one is in NW15 and NC20. That's why it's darker. <laughs> so, yes, those. I'm just throwing them out for the moment. Um, a Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow in Bikini Teeny. It's just this little pot here. And it's kind of like a champagne-y, creamy colour. A miniature of their real mascara by Benefit. So I've got always got a spare on the go. Um, I've run out. Well, I haven't completely run out, but I don't want to use up all of the tiniest bit of uh, Fix Plus spray that I have by Mac. So I've got this Makeup Academy Pro Base Fix Mist, which I'm trying out. It's okay. It does not as well, but it does. Um, I've got this Ted Baker, Ted Baker, Ted Baker cream shadow, and I'm not 100% sure what colour this is. I haven't used. I've only used it once, quite recently. And it's kind of this like pinky, uh, pinky colour, pinky brown maybe colour, um, and it's much more stiffer than the colour tattoo. So I'm taking that. <sighs> I'm taking the Colour Tattoo 24 Hours by Maybelline in Pink Gold. It's just a pinky version, the only pink version I believe. It just looks like that. Kind of a metallic colour. Um, and I've also got another benefit. Priestess Cream Eyeshadow in Birthday Suit, which is just kind of this browny colour. Like browny. A light brown colour, I would say. Um, I'm also taking, I've only just put one in because I can't remember where I put the rest, but it's uh, the Illure Eyebrow kind of stencils, um, and this one's just a slim one which I am using at the moment. So, yeah, and they're just so easy to use. I did use it today though, that's why my eyebrows are a bit different. <laughs> um, I'm also taking MAC Cream Sheen in Cream Cup, which just looks like this. It's the pretty much universal nude, kind of a cult nude, new beauty bloggers. I'm 
also taking this eyeliner by MAC, it is the Pro Point Eye Pencil in Duck and it's just this brown coloured um, eye pencil which is much more of a natural line for your eye. I like to use it on my tight line. Um, I've also got the full size They're Real um, Mascara by Benefit but I need to get a new one because it's running out. I've also got this MAC Extra Dimensional Mascara, which just says like this. I'm also taking this Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is just a sample, but I love it, especially for my bottom lashes. This is going to be a long video. Um, a Revlon They're Real. No, Revlon They're Real. That doesn't work. Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara. Finally, in this tool, um, their real push up liner by Benefit. Ah! Lopsided now. <laughs> it's just as like this. But you need to put it on kind of like a moist eye. I've got a MAC Extra Dimensional or Dimensions eyeshadow in Triple Impact. I don't know whether they still do these anymore. This is kind of a purple, um, purple with kind of like a, like a light purple with kind of purple shimmer in it. You probably can't tell. It looks sort of white in the camera, which is problematic. But yeah, it's really pretty um, if you see it kind of in person, but I don't know whether they do these anymore. Um, a Stila Kitten eyeshadow, which is just like this. Um, Essence eyeshadow in Peach Beach. Um, I've got a Lime Crime lipstick in Babette. orangey, peachy new, um, but it's very opaque and I love the unicorn on the packaging. So yes, uh, I got a Barry M single shadow in tan. And a fashion Easter eyeshadow or baked shadow in Bella. The double take shadow apparently. Just I don't know whether they still do these, but it was super drugs that I got these. Um, Makeup Academy Professionals eyeshadow palette in Undressed, which is a dupe for the Naked One palette. YSL Rouge Volte Shine Lipstick in 13, which I think is pink in Paris. It's just like this. It's kind of a ready pink with a bit of shimmer in it. Which for some reason I thought was matte. Don't know why when I bought it. No. Uh, Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in. Where are you? Too Cool. They don't do these yet in the UK, but. I love this one, this is my favourite one, it's a clear one, um, and it's kind of supposed to be medicated or something. But... <sighs> uh, Maybelline, Maybelline Master Drama Coal Liner in Black. Colour liner in Snow White. Rimmel London Extreme Black Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil.
YSL Baby Dolls Mascara in Black. Model Co Lip Liner or Illusion Nude Lip Liner. Uh, I'm guessing it's in nude. It's like a universal nude. Uh, MAC Lip Pencil in Hit and Happy. eyeshadow palette which I love um, Benefit Pika Bright Eyes eyeshadow kind of palette which I love I don't see it making my eyes look any brighter or bigger but then after the day goes on I do uh, 17 Falsify HD Mascara Revlon Color Bears Lip Butter in Cotton Candy. Which is kind of like a rose gold colour. It's got gold shimmer in it. It's kind of a rose pink colour. Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in 910 Shocking Coral. a really nice kind of subtle pink colour which I like. Uh, Revlon Colour Stain Moisture Stain in London Posh which is very glittery which I didn't expect. Uh, NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. Eye crown, little cheek crown thing um, in rose, I believe. Oh, covering, it's like coming off. This was actually a sample thing from a magazine. Clinique Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry. Again, another sample from a magazine. <laughs> Ted Baker Lip Crayon, I'm not sure what the colour is, but it's kind of a plum colour. It just looks like this. Like a plum berry colour. Um, Tanya Burr's Lip Gloss in Afternoon Tea. A MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Pink Pearl Pop. Which is just a pink colour, which looks darker on the camera, but it's a pink. But it's very sh sheerish, semi sheer. Uh, MAC 
uh, lipstick in Viva Glam Nikki and it's a stain. And it's this kind of peachy pinky coral colour. Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in 109 Rosy Dream. I don't know whether they still do this, but I do love this colour. Uh, Revlon Lacquer Balm in Demure. Revlon Colour Burst like a Balm in Croquette. Whatever it is. Uh, Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Velvet Matte in Atomic Rose. Butter in peaches and cream. Uh, sleek eyebrow pencil. Super Volume Mascara in black. This is such a ramble. <laughs> uh, Barry M Natural Dazzle Bronzer. Uh, Nars Deep Throat Blush. Revlon Colour Burst Lip Butter in 90 Sweet Tart. Uh, Benefit Hula Lip Gloss. London Lippy in Trout Pout. Uh, Benefit Dandelion Box Blush. Bella Bamba Box Blush Benefit 
sugar bomb blush lip gloss. Uh, collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner in black. Dr. Jar Premium BB Beauty Balm with SPF 40. I believe this is the only shade it comes in. It's kind of a very kind of translucent shade. Uh, Benefit Coralista Blush. This is just a miniature. L'Oreal Paris The Foundation True Match Super Blend in Golden Ivory D1W1. Paris Lumi Magic Base Pure Light Primer. Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Shameless. Uh, so 
Purple Glory, Sexy Mother Pucker, Gloss Stick, 3D Volume Lip Shine in Nudes. Barry M Loud Mouth in Screamer. Chanel Vita Aqua Vita, Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation in 10 Beige. Makeup Forever Professional Paris HD Foundation. MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC15. Disappear Smoothing Cream Concealer in Too Light. Makeup Forever Professional Paris Full Coverage, Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream Concealer in Shade 1. Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Face Powder in Shell 39. Yeah, Rimmel London Clear Complexion Clarifying Face Powder in Translucent. all-in-one brow definition kit sleek contouring and blush palette Revlon Photo Ready Concealer This is in the light Almost finished uh, Urban Decay Lip Junkie Gloss In, I believe, Naked uh, This was a sample L'Oreal Nude Magic BB Powder in light. Chanel Perfection Lumiere in 20 beige. But it's Benefit for Professional Primer <sighs> Maybelline 
Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara. Benefit Erased Paste in one fair. Jelly High Shine Lips number four, but I can't remember what shade that is. Benefit of Lemonade Color Correcting Eyelid Primer. everything in my case. Um, it's a lot lighter now. <laughs> um, I know some of you might think that is a lot of makeup but if I'm not at home um, uh, only like every other weekend then I kind of really need to have a lot of my stuff. So that is everything that I probably am taking if I am taking any more. I doubt though. Apart from obviously all my brushes, but they're generally my everyday brushes that you might see in makeup tutorials. So that's it, and I will see you dolls in my next.